Hello, Ness Tilson here. In this short video, I'd just like to show you how to set up a draw assembly details using manufacturing methods. What we would like to do is to set up a draw with the sides mitered into the front, and I want to set up the draw for these Heffel draw runners where the draw is going to be five millimeters from the side of my box and with a 13 millimeter recess underneath the drawer for to house the runner. And I want to do this using manufacturing methods. I'm also going to set sides of the drawers mitered into the front. This so that we get the full length of the drawer front and the drawer side for marking out a dovetail assembly. Let's, let's just set up a couple of drawers into this box here. So let's set up, for instance, four drawers. If I click on assembly details, I can see that I have all my elements, counter front, sides, drawer and back. And then I'm just going to apply this to my drawer. What I would quite like is to not have the front of my drawer here, the facade element, but use the counter front as a facade. This will, this will enable me to mitre the sides into the front of the drawer, the counter front, and get rid of the front. I can't do this in polyboard simply by getting rid of the front. If I get rid of the front, then the polyboard will have nothing to calculate the drawers from. All the drawers are calculated from the front. So what I have to do in this case is to change the material of the front so that it is non-existent. I can't, in this particular case, either use nil panels which I could use in most cases. Polyboard won't like nil panels. So what I have to do is I have to create a transparent material. And let's just create a ZZ01 here. I'm going to call it ZZ01. And this material, I'm going to just going to give it 100% transparency. And I'm going to go into my libraries to, count, to change all my draw fronts into transparent material. So I'm going to go to material style. And the material style of this particular cabinet, I'm going to take here draw fronts. And I'm going to change it into the material, the transparent material, ZZ01. And so that they will theoretically disappear. If I look in 3D, they have disappeared. Although in my edit mode, they still appear in wireframe because they're actually there. But they are in a material which is invisible. This will enable me now to assemble the sides and this counter frontage, which has now become the front of my, my drawer, according to what I want to do, which is, in fact, I want to assemble it with a mitre. So what I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to go into my library sub-methods, and this time I'm going to go into drawers. This is my drawer assembly methods. Right, we're going to leave the actual the, um, the slack around the drawers the same, and we're just going to change the assembly details. Now here I've got no particular assembly details in my drawer. I've just got the priorities set up here. What I'm going to do is to change the lateral slack to five so that it comp complies to the five millimeter slack on my heifer drawer slider here. And now I want to want to set the bottom up 13. To set the bottom up 13, I'm going to pay, make a, a recess rule. And I'm going to say that my counter frontage, which is overpassing my bottom, and my drawer sides, which are overpassing my bottom, relative to the underpassing panel, which is the drawer bottom, they are overlapping 13 millimeters. Here are they actually recessed, which means that they're actually just, the, the bottom is just butted up against the sides, etc. I can groove, and we could put a groove in here, for instance, eight millimeters. If I look in my little preview window, we can see that the bottom is recessed up 13 millimeters from the sides, the front, and the bottom so that we will have these 13 millimeters here between the bottom and the sides. What I'd quite like as well is to pull the back up so that it's actually resting on the bottom. In this case, what I do, I will select draw back and I'll diminish its priority order. So here on this arrow here, I'm going to click once and we can see the back will then move up from the bottom and the back of the drawer will now be resting on the bottom. Now what I want to do is I want to set up the sides to be mitered into the front. To do this I'm going to select a draw side and then I'm going to press control and click counter frontage so that both are selected so we can see they're in pink here and I'm going to select here priority order this time mitre joint and we can see the mitres have been been set up and now if I click OK 
and I apply this to my project, the draw will be set up with the mitres here. The draw bottoms are actually grooved into the surrounds. The back of the draw is resting on the bottom. We can use those mitres either with, either the drawers are actually mitered or, as I say, they can be used for dovetailing. Now, this particular library method, this sub-method here, draws, is actually stored, stocked in the actual model I'm building. If I want to make it something which is accessible, which I can apply to any other model, then I'm going to click here, duplicate, and then give another name to this. Let's call it Heffel. I will now have a Heffel manufacturing method, which I can apply to any other bit of furniture that I am actually building. So hope that's been interesting to you. Hope to see you soon in another video. Goodbye.